Monday morning, 8.30, heading out to Muscle Island. So the whole concept today is to get our eyes on the foundation situation. Right, Tyler? Yes. The foundation situation. So we, uh, we are under the gun timeline. Now, every reality show, <clears throat> they're always under the gun for the timeline. We are actually under the fucking gun for the timeline right now uh, because the box top will be here in about a week and we have no foundation yet. And we're not sure if uh, Frank got over there to put the pumps on the island. We do have temporary service so we can plug them in, but we're about to find out and hopefully it doesn't rain on us. And I brought Cole and Tyler um, to help make sure that we make some great content today. So here we go. Um, always bring towels with you when you come to the boat because I never recover my boat and you never know how wet it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Not as wet anymore, Cole. Not All right. Nice. <laughs> it's nice and dry for me. All right. Fish jumping everywhere, baby. If I get you to come in here real quick, Kyle, I just want to show these people one thing in your fresh white sneakers behind the camera. Wait till it changes. Wait till it changes. Oh, it will. What you're going to see is the word closed, though, right there. And that doesn't mean that, like where I grew up, you forgot to pay your bill and they shut our shit off. That means the connection is closed right there on that green transformer, which means we have power on Muscle Island. <clears throat> and what a big step that is because um, at whatever point content Kyle works is uh, magic and the, all this documentary editing is you'll see that we went from this is barren land and nobody had ever tapped into it then there's all the drilling we're going under the lake as Corey's explained before and then all of a sudden you know the real magic happens is you could walk right up to this thing and plug in your phone charger and you have electricity now and so uh, what that means is we're one step closer and maybe one of the largest steps to actually building all of what we need on Muscle Island. Corey's house, all the fun to come, uh, all the surprise events that maybe you don't know about yet, but what a, what a good day. Now I'm gonna give you my tour of my spectacular beach here at Muscle Island. So come with me. So as you come through uh, to the old trees here on the front side of the beach, you'll notice that we have a, it, it needs some work. But Kyle, actually go to this side so you can see the natural occurring beach that we have right along here. So the whole plan is, I had, uh, when Ryan was here the other day, he moved some of the big driftwood, tore out a couple of the uh, bushes that were here that were like kind of, kind of like these bushes that kind of lay in the uh, water. And this is all natural occurring. So as I clean this up, potentially bring in some more sand for up here and, and make this a little bit nicer, then this will be an area where we can continue to fish off of, hang out. But the fact that it's already here, my vision is to make it just a little bit nicer. So we'll have kind of this as almost like the before situation. And then when we're done with this, with this project or the island in general, we'll be able to see just a better, more contoured, like if I just bring in sand and come all the way, probably about up to here and just grade all this down and make it nicer, it's gonna be super sick. So 
Now we're gonna go over and talk about the uh, other couple units we're working on or in process potentially. Now what we're gonna try to figure out is as we're doing all this construction, as you can see all of this dirt behind us, which is gonna be part of like building the island up, filling in these holes over here that need pumped out of water. So then we can hopefully get our foundation, which has kind of put us uh, probably what, two weeks behind. At least, yeah. We're, yeah, we're, we're trying to two weeks, uh, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more, but anyway. But also as we got all this stuff ripped up, my brain just continues to go on what infrastructure could we put in place for what I think would be phase two of the island, which would be potential like other buildings that could be offices, that could be uh, potential, you know, stays for like my parents, Rachel's parents, whatever. And so I wanna make sure with Tyler that we figure out if we're gonna do a smaller unit in this corner looking out there and potentially another one inside which is an undefined location in the woods <laughs> like what kind of trench or situation we need for water sewer and whatnot and so figuring that out i think before we start after we get all this flat they're going to start digging trenches we should probably see like what that cost is mm -hmm. you know what i mean just so we could get that infrastructure now mm -hmm. is what i'm thinking yeah so what would have to happen with uh, sewer and water probably Tyler? So the, the good thing is when we were putting together the initial plans and like all the digging and everything that um, everyone has seen so far and all the footage is that we put in the right infrastructure that basically had the capacity to not just service the house that you're going to build, which is the main feature of Muscle yeah. Island, um, but also because we had a little bit of foresight to where you're like, hey, what if we need to do something else over here, kind of like you were just describing to where... Um, everything that we're that we're once once it's finalized and everything's in place, it'll be enough to service more than just the house. Mm -hmm. And so, um, what'll just be interesting from there is obviously uh, when you keep it up to standard, up to code, it'll it'll be all buried. And so you're talking about trenches, so it won't be anything like overhead or it won't be anything like in the way that you, that'll obstruct your walking pass and everything here. But what'll be cool about that is um, even though it's underground, we'll just take advantage of. Um, gravity has our yeah. friend, right? And so, uh, depending if you have more than one unit, you know, we might have one here, one over there somewhere. And then as we bury it underground, we just let gravity meet in the middle, uh, basically have like a central reservoir if it is for, um, you know, like sewage services mm -hmm. or something. Um, and then just then feed it to the main tank, which will service the, the main house. The main and house. so there you can get kind of creative, but it's still, you know, up to code and you're doing it the right way. Yeah. yeah. We are always doing it up the code in the right way because that's how we do it here at Muscle Island, Tyler. That's exactly right. But the key is, is that as this is a fucking shit show right now and all ripped up, that I'm trying to, um, even if it's something I don't build for a while, but have the infrastructure set up that we can then add relatively easy because ripping it all back up not a, not a choice. is the hard part. And so, you know, even as this uh, project is a few weeks behind, uh, not, but all in all, like, I'm pretty happy about that because shit, like, there's so many things that have to happen. Like, if we can only be two or three weeks behind, I feel like that's a win. Oh, yeah. Although I don't want to say that, but that's the truth, yeah. probably. Well, in the grand scheme of this, I mean, at the current timeline that we're even talking about this and standing here today, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's still a good early, mid springtime in Ohio. And really it's only it's not even been close to a full year yet since no. you found this property you said i'm going to take this thing seriously mm -hmm. and you went and did it you know and so yeah we're about 10 months right now yeah right around 10 months so yeah. all in all it's like at this particular portion of it two weeks three weeks feels like a lot of valuable time mm -hmm. in the real estate but ultimately i mean we're making a lot of great progress on this thing yeah. Uh, we have one audience member here uh, for this blog. His name is Cole Susak. He's the graphic gangster right there. Cole, I know you're probably sitting on a couple questions that you have for me and Tyler, so uh, go ahead and uh, th throw one at us. Yeah, first off, I just want to say that most of the time whenever these guys talk about what they're working on, I have no fucking idea <laughs> what they're actually talking about. <laughs> like Tyler explaining that, that, all the holes and like shit like that, no idea. So it's just been nice to observe. But uh, I guess, uh, you know... Hmm, let me see which way I want to take this. Do we sound like developers? Yeah, like you guys are just like talking about all this shit that I have no idea. 
Like, no clue. So, you know, if there's somebody out there that's had 100 years in this, they might pick out a little bit like, hey, you didn't say the right word yeah. there. Oh, but yeah. but ultimately, I think with as much literal action and execution that's taking place here, and yeah. when we use a little bit of finesse when yeah. we're out here describing oh, yeah. this, we make it sound good, don't we? Well, Cole? it's been very interesting because obviously you guys have never uh, bought an island or built a house on an island. So, yeah. he, like, listening to you guys of what you guys have learned over this entire process is very... That's the insight. Like, that's like, that's like you cool. guys got, like, your MBA in building an island like building a house on the island so i mean truthfully there's been yeah. a lot of good learning and oh. there's been no choice but to take action and execute on it and then you know the local authorities municipalities they do make sure you do yeah. it the right way like yeah. it's not really the wild west anymore so we have all the paperwork we have all the documentation yeah. we've you know we check the boxes so it's it's real stuff all right so my Go hold ahead. on my so my question is uh for both you guys so obviously like this is just a chaotic mess yes. there's a lot of back and forth going on you guys are always on the phone with people <laughs> Thing like that what is going to be the moment where you can finally like ah oh, like there's like a weight off your like shoulder where you can like feel yeah. <laughs> well we might each have our own moment for that i think the day that they actually stack the house together that'll be the first one because the reality is that will mean that literally that is probably like like we can't I'm not going to be putting floors in or doing like it, when it gets to that point, then Seth, who is a professional and had built multiple houses like this and has done it for years, it's like on him. Like me and Tyler, we're still going to have things to do. But the reality is getting it to that point where I'm watching the crane go and they're welding that motherfucker to the base of this crazy foundation with the helical piles that we got to put in. That'll be the first one. The second one will be what I visualized since I bought this island which is sitting on the fucking porch and checking my phone be like, oh, okay, that business is doing good. <laughs> oh, okay, that business is doing good. Yeah. And it's Friday morning and I'm smoking a cigar going, I can't believe we fucking pulled this off. No, so, it. so I think that, yeah, you could take a deep breath because this was truly a jump two feet in, figure it out on the fly. Um, everybody's been super supportive. There's been a lot of helping hands when we needed them. And so it's like, hopefully people find it inspiring to take on a project like this. Cause literally we have no clue what we're doing. No. Yeah. Literally. Yes. Figure it out. <laughs> Good. Tyler, what will be your for you? Literally no clue, but also no choice. And so <laughs> yeah. it's like when there yeah. is no turning back you don't have to look at it like a dawning thing it's just like look this is going to be fun because we know we're going to make it that way and we are going to figure it out so having that belief has been good and so i would say at least for me just like to your point cole you're on the phone constantly talking to all these people it's like seeing at least the first couple things come together like we were just describing over there with the electric service yeah. and the sewage and the water development it's like they're right there we just need the house to be here now which about a week's time from now the material will be here to where it's ready to literally be plugged in so we can take those things and and start you know building it all together and making it official but i think to your point too when we then see the actual containers they're here they're being stacked and we're like wow this is it's not just blueprints anymore yeah. it's official official um and then once you get to obviously chris in the place and and have your first couple nights out here and and we all come out and see it and really start talking about you know how how do we what's phase two of this yeah. and it's the landscaping and it's just all the the nice touches that's going to be that's going to be pretty cool yeah i think uh what and with any business venture cole there's confidence that's built through finding solutions i think that's like the biggest takeaway and i think what i had to almost remind myself i'm capable of and when i got into this project it was still wired into the lifestyle. There's still a lot of ideas that have come through this process for our businesses that we all own together. And the reality is it reminded me, gee, this is how you operate. This is the this is how you operate best, actually. I think in cha chaotic fucking solution based type of things that can make a difference forever. This is exactly what this is. And so I think like seeing his confidence build through this process, you know, seeing like me feeling like from a real estate standpoint, like I'm understanding a lot more now. So like this thing was like, you know, a whirlwind of finding it and then closing on it with within two weeks and two days oh, yeah. and now we're 10 months later and we're talking about the house being delivered from the dude i just messaged on instagram no, i yeah. mean it's amazing. like amazing it's pretty amazing all right so, so to, uh from where we're at right now we mm -hmm. just got the electric what is in your mind like the next big obstacle that you already are like anxious about that you need you want to get it done yeah kyle can have b-roll this real easy that the two stumps that we took out 
that currently look like small swimming pools. There were dead ash trees that I wish I could have left there, but they're right where the foundation is. As we took them up, or as Frank dug them out, the ground was so saturated and the lake was up like literally eight inches. They just filled back in. I spent five hours of my life here, actually eight hours, but five hours pumping water to come back to the next day. Yeah. The hole was filled. It was it was demoralizing. And so anyway, as we run the pumps over the next probably two to seven days, now that we have uh, the electric, when that hole is dry, I will be a very happy yeah. man. And that hole, and that hole. And that hole, yeah. A couple holes. Yeah. We really need, we need that. Dry because holes. A lot of people will, yeah. You know, we but, cannot do anything yeah. until the hole's dry, Cole. <laughs> hey, you know, for some people, that's not a problem. Like, you know, Backward, whatever. Yeah. In this scenario, yeah, you just gotta fill the holes. Uh, yeah, Tyler, you have anything to say on that? <laughs> nope, let's uh, we just gotta keep moving. We're gonna execute yeah. like we have this whole time, and you know, by tomorrow, it might be a different conversation. All right, so we need to get back on the phone, uh, with some people to get these <laughs> holes uh, dried up and uh, head back to the office. smoother at this thing so when I do have a nice boat one day I won't <laughs> I won't hurt it 